Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. I'm back with a new video. Today I am going to alter an old alarm clock. Clocks are used in scrapbooking or mixed media often. I think because they have a such a nice shape and if you remove all the inside they also can be a really nice frame. So I have to start just with removing all the pieces which are inside my frame. Uh, this, this everything is plastic here. Uh, had only few screws so it wasn't difficult to take it apart. Uh, in front there is a glass and uh, that um, clock system which wasn't glued to the frame so it was really easy to dismantle it. I took all the pieces apart because I'm going to paint the frame and all the pieces I thought it will be much easier and after applying a uh, paint I am going to put uh, it all together of course without that middle part. My first step was to uh, apply two layers of white gesso. I'm going to paint it outside and the inside and all the pieces as well. Uh, I let the dry the first layer and then I'm applying the second one. As you can see I'm using just ordinary kitchen sponge. I really like the texture that uh, sponge is leaving. It's different than uh, to using brush and I almost always do it and I just love the result. And the next step is to paint uh, the clock with the acrylic paints. My paints are uh, metallic. I have a very light and darker shade of pink. I'm going to mix them together, uh, which is I'm going to add a little bit of that dark pink to the light pink to have it slightly darker. And then I will paint the uh, outside frame of the clock and all the pieces, not the inside. This is the metallic uh, paint, it's shiny, but you can use any paint, you could use watercolors as well. Uh, if you're using acrylic paint, uh, that the, the paint dries uh, quick and um, uh, it's permanent. After painting, I decided to add some texture. You know how I love texture. <laughs> so I mixed uh, gel medium with um, little pebbles. Uh, there are two sizes of those stones. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the one is like very fine, almost like a sand, and then bigger pieces. I'm going to mix it with the gel medium and then apply on the frame. If you feel that it's not sticky enough, you may need to use uh, more of gel medium. Of course, some of it uh, will later uh, fall off, just just very few pieces. Um, yeah, but it gives a really nice texture to every project. I have chosen beautiful uh, Prima paper with butterflies for my back wall and I'm going to cut some butterflies as well. The paper has a, a shiny element, it's really really pretty, but the colors of the butterflies are very similar to the paint I used, so it will all look uh, really nice. So I have um, as I have a piece of white circle, this is just white card, and then I'm going to stick another um, 
circle to it this will be a very back of my clock and then the outside and then the inside i have that circle with the butterflies but um i want the circle with the butterflies be slightly um closer to the front so i'm going to create a distance between the uh, the paper with the butterflies and the back circle. I will need about four layers of chipboard and the foam pads uh, to create that <laughs> dimension and stick those layers together. Uh, the paper with the butterflies will be closer to the front and the paper with the uh, light pink bricks will be uh, back of my project. Now I put all uh, pieces together. I didn't record it because the screws <laughs> are literally so small. I had to play with them to attach the, the top of the clock, but I managed to do it. And now I'm adhering the lace uh, in inside the clock, like on the frame, but inside. I just wanted to give that, uh, because inside is quite plain, the frame, I mean, so I wanted to give it uh, something interesting. So I have those pieces of lace and I'm going to uh, attach them. I'm using a soft gel to adhere them. Now it's time to decorate the clock. I have various pieces here. I have handmade flowers, die cut leaves, I have chipboard leaves, also some um, clay elements which I made with fina bar molds, a lovely frame and the screws. So I'm going to create the composition, one little composition inside the clock and then a slightly bigger one on the frame and then another one, a very small one, on the top part of the clock. I hope you will enjoy watching me uh, putting it all together and I will talk to you at the end of the video.
here I am adding final touches to my project. I really love it. It's so cute, so sweet. It's it's amazing how creating a little uh, piece can give you so much joy. I really, really uh, enjoy the, the process of making that. I hope you will like it too. Of course, thank you so much for um, coming to my channel and uh, watching my videos and also for commenting. I hope to inspire you to create something similar. Let's find an old, old clock and make something totally different with it. Uh, that will be it for today and I hope to see you soon. Have a lovely creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.